Hello ladies, how are you today? I hope you're all doing really well. I'm going to touch on keeping yourself open to new possibilities today. It's up to you to find the power within, to believe everything is possible. And the more open you are, the more creativity flows and your world opens up to success. Hello ladies, I'm Claire Hughes, an empowerment coach for women who are ready to break through their fears, set and meet goals, and build their confidence to live as their truest self. If you've seen me before, say hello in the chat. If you're watching on the replay, give me a hashtag replay and let me know who you are and where you're from. If you walk on this earth defeated, angry, or in disbelief, this is the life that you are going to live. Negative minds are closed minds that can't see what's available to them. So if you're a negative thinker, do the work to help change that. Stop focusing on what you can't have or don't have and get to what you want to, and get to what you do want and what you do have because you get what you think about. Wouldn't it be better? If you could focus on what you do have and what you can create and make a life that you can be excited about and will enjoy, keeping an open mind means that you're open to everything, everyone, and you welcome in new people and places and opportunities and interests. It's really the doorway to success. Growing up, I had friends from all races, nationalities, backgrounds, income levels. My mom used to say she never knew who was going to be walking in the door with me. And it was true. I had friends from everywhere. And I have an open mind and my mom has an open mind. My dad didn't. If they weren't like him, he didn't want to know about them. He wouldn't even shake your hand. Based on his decisions on how people looked and their religious belief, he missed out on so many different people, stories, and experiences. And I learned this early in life that his world was gonna be a lot smaller than mine. But he couldn't, he couldn't open his mind. He was stuck in his ways. And um, this is what made my life far more interesting. I traveled, I met new people, I saw new countries, I tried different jobs, and I lived in exciting places. And it all helped me grow, learn, and remain open for more. And this is how life should be. It should be exciting and new and adventurous and full of all different kinds of people from all different sorts of places. And it means that you aren't prejudiced, that you're flexible and welcome to new opportunities. Having a closed mind limits you, it holds you back, and this isn't how life is meant to be. Some people are raised by closed-minded people, or they choose to be this way, but it is more difficult for some than others to break out of this habit. I know growing up in my family, it was, it was my choice, it became my choice to open up my own world because the world I was growing up in um, could have been a different place if I had followed a lot of the rules that my dad had. So try to understand life from other people's views, where they come from, what they want in life. It's a great power having the ability to change how you think and feel, um, to open yourself up to new and to the new and exciting and not be stuck in angry in an angry state or being frustrated um, the way you could be with a closed mind. You don't have to agree with everything that people say. You don't have to agree with their religion, their educational background. Just merely understand that we're all different and we can find some kind of peace together. We're all pretty similar more than people think. Not everything is black and white, and I don't mean racially. I mean, if you disagree with someone, stay open to see that something may have been overlooked. Maybe you missed some facts. Maybe they missed some facts. We're just not always right. So people interpret things differently. So when you walk into a situation with an open mind, it's easier to adjust to the situations that you're walking into. Become interested in everything people have to say, learn about them, figure out where they're from, and you'll open up yourself to a lot of exciting new possibilities. Don't limit yourself. Be a blank page. 
and open up to the new to new discussions and lessons people always think that people always think they don't know what they know so when you sit there and you say oh i know all these things well you probably don't know all these things there's probably a lot more to it than you think so when you're open enough to realize that um, things start to change when you think you know something that's when you're starting to live in a limited and you're limiting yourself so you need to step out of that you don't know everything you may know a lot about something but you don't know everything so step outside the limiting belief um, and open yourself up put yourself out there be vulnerable talk to people in line at the store waiting for a friend sitting in a cafe put the technology down and look up and see what you can learn from someone today one example I was in Starbucks some time ago and while I waited in line I started a conversation with the woman behind me who had the same affinity for organizers that I did and now I see her everywhere and the friendship has begun but if I stood in line on my phone not being open to what's going on around me she and I would have never have met I wouldn't know about her being a late blooming but successful entrepreneur and that Starbucks is her office and she does love organizers like I do challenge yourself to be open to new possibilities step outside your comfort zone and try the new the different and watch your world open up to amazing and beautiful people experiences and adventures we are all different but when our mind is opened life is far more fun I'm here as your empowerment coach to help you change how you see yourself, crush the fears, and help you make the best of your life. So don't waste another day with a closed mind. You will miss so much in life. Put judgment aside and create an amazing life. Take time to invest in yourself and recognize what's holding you back and do the work to get on the path that you want to be on and who you want to become. So you've got this, so take massive action to change your life. Life is too short to be living in a negative state. And if you're ready to change your life, ready to invest in yourself and build an incredible life, message me and let's get started. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to speaking with you. Have an incredible day. And before you go, leave in the notes um, how you might be able to change a few things in your life today. Let me know. Take care.